Scopes are basically tools that give you a more scientific or precise way of getting your colors and your exposures and contrast to exactly where you want them to be. We will take a look at waveform, parade, and vector scope. It's important to know that the numbers in the Ansel Adams zone system correlate exactly with the exposures in a parade or a waveform. At the bottom is zero and at the top is 100, just like in the zone system from zero to 10. So zero would be pure black, no detail, and 100 would be pure white, no detail. The waveform is probably my favorite to use, and I use it all the time on my camera and in post to see where the exposure is. The waveform represents an image from left to right, so you know that something on the left side of your image is represented on the left side of the waveform. Something that's on the right side of your image is represented on the right side of the waveform, and so on. So comparing your image and the waveform, you know exactly where the exposure values are. This is huge for color grading, and if you're not already using these, I highly recommend that you start learning how to use these things, especially the waveform scope. We will talk a little bit more later on about how to see where exactly the skin tones are in the waveform. For exposure, I really rely on the waveform, whereas for color, it's better to use the parade or vector scope. All three scopes can be used to see if an image is correctly balanced to white. That is to say that your whites are white and your blacks are black and not tinted blue, green, or red. Vector scope only deals with color and it's really the best tool for evaluating your colors. It is a representation of the colors and saturation of those colors in the image. It's kind of like a color wheel, but it's showing where the colors lie. You could actually overlay a color wheel over this and it shows you exactly where your colors lie. To have a balanced image, the color should be centered around the middle and not shifted over too far to any other color. To see how saturated an image is, you can look at how far from the middle the colors extend. Higher saturation goes out farther, whereas desaturated images are crushed towards the middle. This is a great way to match saturation between shots. I've linked below a good resource on scopes and how to use them if you're still unsure or don't quite understand how scopes work. We will also be doing some examples later on, so don't worry too much yet. 